folks. So what you guys just saw was about, it was like six different takes of just if I messed up, if I wasn't in the right position, I have like six different positions to, to work with. That's what, that's what that ridiculousness was right there. Now that we're finished with the stationary shots, we're gonna go ahead and move it. So now, even if we wanted to do that same shot again, we can. So let's do a close up from the rear to the front. For the first shot, we're gonna just gonna do like a rundown of the exterior, interior, and uh, under the hood, you know what I'm saying? Get real low and then just walk in towards it. People always wonder how you get that gliding effect. It's just from doing what they do in the movies, you know? Same thing with this side. So there's those two angles. Even though I'm spending a lot of time filming it, this will only last probably, you know, five to 10 seconds. These are always hard to get because you can never see what you're filming. Integral stuff. So now let's get the inside. This is when I have to take the tripod off. Oh. oh, that's a good shot. That was a nice shot. Man, I'm getting some good stuff in here. I'll probably put this as the first, like, as the first and then do all the other shots after this. Nice. The last shot is gonna be me right here. Like, like, you know, I gangstered it out. Yeah. Like, like, I'm. And then I'll do a little noise. You know, like, meh. I'll look down. I'll, like, I'll pretend I'm still looking at this camera. Then I'll look down and go, meh. So I'm still looking over there. I'll go, meh. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out with that. It's awesome. If it wasn't for you holding that camera, we wouldn't even be able to tell you guys how we do this shit. Man. The end of production phase. Well, filming. 